What is up everybody, in this video we are doing a shootout between the Socket and Dolphin Speed 2 and the brand new Nike Zoomfly 4. Right guys, welcome back to Fully Runs, how are we doing? Uh, let me know in the comments and did you see the first impressions of these, the Zoomfly 4. What do you think about the shoe? Very interested to know and also I just want to say thanks to all the comments from that first impressions video means a lot, so thank you very much. Now, this is meant to be a versus video against the Speed 2, but I'm gonna do you all a huge favor and tell you right away that whatever happens, if you wanna spend over 150 quid or over 140 quid, just go and buy the Speed 2, right? Just save yourself some time, save yourself some money and buy this. This shoe does everything, okay? It might be a little bit unstable for some, and the, uh, I'll come on to, uh, I've got some alternatives for you. Um, but really, to be perfectly honest with you, this shoe is leaps and bounds above this. It is the king of the sort of training and competition shoes. I think it's almost, you could argue, the king of running shoes at the moment. So don't waste your time, don't waste your money buying this, just buy this. So this video is actually gonna be a comparison against the DV8 Nitro from Puma. Why? Because I think this is probably the closest competitor to this. Okay guys, right, so why did I pick the DV8 Nitro over the spoil well, speech just on another league, right? So think Premier League, Division One, maybe a bit unfair, but let's say second half of the table in the uh, Premier League. And this is versus the Speed 2, right? Because we, I, I personally sit this quite high up versus these other two. There is nothing wrong with this. This is a fantastic shoe. Okay, so I'm not saying that this is rubbish why I put it so low, but in the scheme of things, when you're comparing it against the Speed 2, the Speed 2 just kills it. So, why have I picked this uh, to put up against this? Well, this has got an inno plate in it, so um, some carbon infused uh, plate in it, pretty much along the lines of this thing. We've got a um, reasonable outsole, we've got a decent-ish mesh upper. It's on the heavier side, it's towards the training competition. It is actually 140 pound, I think, on the Puma website, but you can get it under 100 pounds. And what else, what else, what else? And it can pretty much do everything this can do. So I think this is better comparison um, to doing this video, and that is why I picked it. Okay, so look, in the other video, I was barking on about weight, so let's just weigh the Puma and get that out of the way. Now that's 10 ounces, UK nine and a half. So it's a more favorable comparison in terms of weight because this is two, uh, 10 and a half ounces. And actually let's just do that in grams because I'm a nice guy. Uh, so that's 284 grams for the Puma. Now this fits true to size. People have complained about this shoe about ripping the back of their heel off. I've not had any issues with that with this shoe. And the way I've got around it, is I've loosened this off and tightened this up. It's just the way it's worked for me. It might not work for you, but that's the way I got around this shoe in terms of the, the problems at the heel. This has got the, the, um, the Puma, the Nike has got a nice bit of foam in there. And to be honest, that's what this really lacked. But apart from that, this shoe is probably, I think on par, if not better than this. So the problem with the Zoom Fly 4 is it's weight. Now the weight comes from the React foam, which is dense, it's heavy, uh, versus some of the other compounds out there. But I, I personally didn't have a problem with it um, on the runs that I've done in it in terms of the feedback from the shoe. I quite like the React in the uh, Pegasus Trail 3, I quite like the React in the Pegasus 38. All right, that's got a Zoom Air unit in the front, so it gives you a little bit more pop. But you know, it's okay for me. It's not. Uh, it's not the end of the world. It's it being a little bit dense. It's a little bit more stable for me. So I think that does help. Um, and yeah, so I, I've quite enjoyed running in these uh, since I've had them. Um, but the problem is, as I said, is is in the other video, is the weight of it for a training competition shoe. But if you are doing a like for like, because these are very similar in terms of weight, I do think, and and I've said it, is the reason this is such a better shoe is because the compound in this, the nitro, um, the nitro foam in this, which is a nitrogen infused um, midsole compound, it's just that little bit more explosive. It's not as dense. It's um, it's quite soft in hand, and it just gives you more bang for your buck. And I think that's why, for me, out of these two, this is the way to go. Okay, you've got the heel slip problem, but if you can find the tie down in this shoe, it will give you so much more back. And it just wants you to run fast all the time. Now this, 
it's good, but it doesn't give you that sort of feeling of, come on, let's just run really, really fast. Where this, it does give you that feeling. And that's why I think this is the better shoe out of the two. In terms of the outsole, this kills it with the Puma grip. And they could have shaved weight off of this shoe with this uh, by taking some of this out. But they, what they've created here is a really versatile trainer because giving you this grip is, it means you can just run this in any conditions. It's so good, uh, this Puma grip. It really, really is. And it is better than this. Now, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, and it has been raining here in the UK this week. But this is just epic it, on those wet tarmac um, uh, tarmac roads, you know, when you're running along, it's been absolutely teaming it down. This Puma grip is just awesome. And the overall fit, apart from the heel slippage, is really, really good in this shoe. Some of you guys were commenting, actually, talking about fit, um, about this shoe, uh, in terms of how it fits and stuff like that. Because they've got rid of the vapor weave, I think it's opened it up in terms of width and feel of the shoe. I've had no problems in terms of the width of this. And because there's so much room with the, with the sock, um, sock liner in it, um, I think they've got rid of some of the problems that you guys were mentioning about the um, vapor weave. So don't be put off by the vapor weave um, and, and the fit of the shoe in terms of how it goes around your foot because I think they've made an improvement um, with the upper. That's what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, so look, this is the shoe to pick out of these two. Well, actually, this video is about the speed, so we know about that. But out of these two, you've got to go for the Puma Grip. I do think this is an improvement over Zoom Fly 3. I can't wait to put more miles into it uh, and I'll come back and we'll do the performance review um, and we'll then you know, give you a little bit of feedback on you know, where I've done some more stuff in it in terms of uh, variation. But yeah, if you're looking, if you're looking at this and looking else out, um, looking at what else is out there, God, I wish I could speak today, then you've obviously got the Rocket X, you've got, um, you could argue the Hoke of Mark IV, you could argue the Rebel II, although none of those, either of those two don't have a plate in it. Um, where else could you go? You could look at some of the other Puma shoes. I'm just looking at a pair of Elite <laughs> Nitro Elites that I picked up for cheaper than that. Um, and yeah, you could, I mean, you could go some, I don't know, whether you want to go Bondi X with the, with the carbon plate in it from Hoka as well. Uh, the, you know, there's the fuel, uh, fuel Cell TC, which has got a plate in it. We've got the new Brooks Hyperion uh, coming out. One of them's going to apparently have a uh, plate in it. So there's lots of options out there that will probably be better than this. But the point I want to get across is that this, I think, is an improvement over version three. So if you were one of the people that liked number three, then you're going to like this. But my advice from this video is personally buy this. But actually, if you're going to buy one shoe, just buy this.